Hey guys, I am the Octa Grower, uh, and we haven't done one of these videos in a while, so we're just going to catch you up for you new growers. If you haven't watched our uh, our videos on uh, spraying, um, today is Sunday. We like to spray every Sunday, so we got some Azimax Pro, and we got our little our sprayer. That's going to want to show you guys what how we do it. We just kind of get under the leaves where where the bugs like to hide, get on top of the leaf. So we're going to get under this right here. So we're just a little demonstration of a quick spray video. People always ask us, I like to spray the stalk and the stems. Real good. Same here, we'll get this one here and we're gonna start plucking. See these leaves right here? We're gonna start taking all those off here. So I'll probably do that later on today, but just in case there's any bugs, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna nuke them. Sazamax Pro, is, it's a really good product. We had a lot, of, a lot of success with it in veg. We use it only in veg, maybe the first Two weeks of flower only because there's no flower in the plants get on top of the plant all over on there okay and then we're gonna get this make sure we get it a nice stock there we go now we're gonna get the back plant get under the leaves i like these sprayers these little cheap sprayers that uh have a kind of a nice long wand and a at the bent tip that way i can get under under where all the bugs hide kind of can control the product pretty good and uh this right here we are mixing this product it's a we're doing the two two milliliters per gallon. Sometimes we'll do if we have, if we actually have bugs. If I see any any uh, bug damage on the plant, we'll we'll bump it up a little bit. We'll do some. We we may even do four four mils per gallon. But if you just do once a week, you're you're gonna find out you probably don't need to do that. Um, it's it's all about just preventative spraying. Now we don't have any bugs on these plants, but you know we grow in a shed. I always tell everybody, there's our door. There's see there's cracking a light. We're privy to bugs. I mean, bugs can get in here, so it's very, it's uh, very, uh, very possible that we can get bugs. So we just spray every week, every Sunday, and uh, we really uh, we limit our chance of getting bugs. Now, I saw some bug bites a couple months ago, but we, uh, you know, I, I guess they might have fall, eaten, fallen off. Didn't it wasn't an infestation. Just a few bug bites or some dots in the leaves. I went ahead and looked uh, real closely at all the plants. We went ahead and pulled all those leaves that were damaged and we sprayed. But what we did was, is we increased our spraying to, instead of every Sunday, we went Sunday and Wednesday. So we added a quick, uh, one treatment in there during the middle of the week. So just to make sure. And so, uh, like I said, we're trying to nuke these bugs and then we'll do another top, sp another good top spraying all the way around. And you can see these plants are looking really, really good. Again, we uh, we always give credit the Octopots, you know, for you guys are just seeing this video for the first time. We like to use the Octopots. If you guys are uh, guessing on when to water, that's this product. This product saves you. I got this. You can see, I just filled these Octopots up today. We filled them all the way up, so uh, we'll be good for seven days on these things. And we're just doing a really heavy, good spray, preventative spray, to get us through the rest of the week. So anyway. That's how we spray, um, pretty simple. You just gotta stay on top of it. And uh, you know, you won't get bugs. Another thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna switch products. Sometimes we'll, we'll go, we'll uh, do the Azimax, the Azapro, and then we'll go and we'll switch it up to uh, SNS 203, uh, which is pretty good. We like the SNS 203. We'll mix those two products. And then we'll, uh, we might even throw in uh, some green cleaner. I like to use the green cleaner, the plant therapy even when I'm in flower, cause it's so expensive. And you can actually spray those on the buds and they're it's undetectable and it's uh I, i'm pretty sure it's an alcohol based product that uh it just i mean it kills it kills everything it kills mites on contact it'll kill the thrips uh it hits powdery mildew if you powdery mildew green cleaner or plant therapy works real good um but if you guys i know let me tell you this uh, a healthy plant it's really hard to attack you know the bugs can't attack a healthy plant the plant's got mechanisms in there to uh, you know, keep it from uh, attacking it. So like I said, uh, and always, again, like right here, I'll just show you. So this right here, see these leaves at the bottom? You know, these are what track all the bugs. Anything that's touching these, pull those leaves off. You don't need them. And that's below the canopy. They're not gonna do much for you anyway. They're not even getting too much light. So we'll just kind of pluck all these off. I'm plucking all these big fan leaves off. I don't like to pluck a lot off. You know, there's people I see, I mean, I was watching them videos the other day and on uh, some defoliation and people are just stripping their plants, you know, which, ah, 
leave me. Just the only time you want to strip a plant if you've got a problem, and if you've got a problem, it's just easier to start over. So anyway, here's what a strip plant looks like. We took this plant. I wasn't sure if I was going to toss it away, start over, um, but we I saw some powdery mildew on it, and I you know what? I didn't want to take a chance. So what I did is we uh, we hit it with some uh, some uh, sulfur dust. And then I'm like, I just got nervous about it. So I went ahead and I, I hit a sulfur dust, pulled all the leaves out of it. I'm not sure if we're gonna recover this plant. I thought I'd put it back here in the veg area and see what it does. But if it doesn't, I'll just toss it away. But you can actually see the, it's got a nice big stalk and stem on these things. Real, I mean, it's just a really hardy plant. So if she comes back, I'm a winner. If, if not, no big deal. It's not, you know, it's one plant, not gonna kill me. So, but continue with, uh, with the, the spraying. This is how you keep bugs out of your garden, guys. Make sure you spray. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I am the Octa Grower. Um, you Kiari Warriors, uh, you guys stay tough. This is a tough disease. We're gonna get you growing right. We're gonna save you money. Uh, for all our other subscribers that are uh, watching this, uh, we appreciate you guys. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.